Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a vehicle that has a bad oil level sensor and you need to replace, remove or locate oil level sensor. It doesn't matter if you have a Porsche, German, American, Asian vehicle, we will explain where you can expect to find the oil level sensor. Many of the vehicles nowadays use that. Why? Because they have so much electronics, they detect the amount of oil you have in the engine and that's a good thing because if it gets slow, it lets you know. Another thing, some of the vehicles like German vehicles they don't even use dipsticks anymore you don't have an oil dipstick you have you use that oil level sensor to actually check on the dash or on the computer how much oil you have in the vehicle but we will explain where it's located and what needs to be done to remove and replace one before we start let me tell you guys uh, one thing if you need to buy any parts tools oil level sensor check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well another thing every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission here at the garage is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you so let's explain guys okay what we need to do now you most likely need to jack the car up to go underneath the oil level sensor will be located underneath your car now uh, it will be more convenient if you jack it up on both sides so always use jack stands what we're using here we use the our uh, portable car lift and i'll put the link in the description of the video below where we purchased ours from so check it out it's amazing guys really really cool lift that works uh, great but uh, once you lift up the front end of your car okay you're going to go underneath okay come underneath and you will need to locate your oil pan for instance this is the oil pan that's where we drain the engine oil on our car right that's the oil pan that's where all the oil is collected so in order to read the oil level the sensor needs to be attached to the oil pan sometimes it's not very visible guys you look here you look there you look on the back side okay and it looks like the sensor should be like right here but it's not okay check it out nothing is on the oil pan really really hidden guys but if you come towards here okay and you come guys okay on one side of the open that device okay i'm trying to focus here that device right here this is your oil level sensor this is it guys okay this is your oil level sensor and uh, it, it will be located on the bottom of the open but sometimes it's not all the way on the bottom sometimes it's a little bit higher position position as well if you have problems with those guys always check the connector and uh, sometimes you get dirt and dust stuck in it guys and that can prevent it from working correctly clean it you may have corrosion so you want to clean it make sure it's fine if all that checks out okay guys make sure you don't have an oil leak it's a common thing to have oil leaks from oil pan upper valve covers or the uh, oil level sensor gasket itself that oil leak will actually uh, fill that wire with oil and it will not work correctly and you may get a problem for oil level sensor when all you need is just to clean it and fix the oil leak instead of replacing the sensor itself if you need to replace it it's pretty simple you drain your engine oil you remove the connector you remove the three bolts and you remove the sensor but i recommend to use a new gasket every time you install it because otherwise you can develop a leak or inspect to make sure that your old gasket is in uh, good good condition so this is it guys hopefully the video will be helpful if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time